what's going on today guys this is Jared with Hike Solo Outdoors and I'm coming to you today with a little bit different video I'm gonna be doing a long-term gear review of one of my favorite hiking packs the Osprey Manta 34 liter now this bag comes in two different sizes it comes in this size which is the 34 liter as well as a smaller 24 liter bag so if you want to opt to go a little bit smaller that option is out there for you now the Manta bag has been designed specifically with men in mind, but there is a sister bag to the Manta and it is called the Mira and it comes in 22 liter sizes as well as 32 liter sizes. But today we are going to be reviewing the Manta 34 liter. Real quick, let's go over the specs. You can really go look these up anywhere online, but let's run through them real quick. So the capacity on this bag is a 34 liter capacity. Um, it can carry up to 30 pounds. Osprey actually recommends between 10 and 30 pounds in the bag. Um, it's 22 inches tall, it's 14 inches wide, and it's a 13 inch deep bag. So it's an all around medium sized backpack and it's meant for uh, long day hikes all the way up to maybe a weekend hike if you're an ultralight packer. The bag weighs in at 3.1 pounds, so a very manageable weight, and it has an external frame on it, so it is very rigid on your back. The colors for the bag are either black or green, and as you can see, I opted here for the black model. And before we go any further, guys, I'd like to point out that this is not a sponsored video. I paid for this bag with my own money after trying out a few different bags at my local outfitter. I always recommend that you go to a local outfitter uh, that has different types of hiking bags so you can try on a variety and see which type of bag is best for you. Uh, some of the attributes that this bag has is an adjustable airspeed suspension which Osprey is kind of known for. As you can see there's this mesh portion here that separates the bag from your back so that helps uh, with not only support but it also helps airflow get to your back and uh, prevent you from getting too hot back there where the backpack rests. There are four zippered pockets on this bag, uh, three internal mesh pockets, and there is a very large main compartment on the bag. Uh, so there is plenty of room to store all the things that you desire. Um, one of my favorite things on this bag is just this quick release pack on the front. You don't see this on a lot of smaller bags, uh, our mid-sized bags is usually reserved for the much larger uh, kind of through hiking bags but this stuff pocket right here on the front that's adjustable is really nice for throwing jackets, gloves, snacks, that type of thing in there. Anything that you need quick access to or that anyone you're hiking with might need quick access to that's a really helpful pocket so I really do appreciate that. Um, it does come with a 2.5 liter uh, water reservoir uh, so it does come with that so that's not an additional purchase you have to make and it sits nicely in the bag I've used it many many times it also comes with a stow on the go trekking pole attachment so here on the front of um, the left hand strap you can see there's a attachment point here as well as an attachment point down here at the bottom so that's very helpful for anyone who's using trekking poles out on the trail and it also comes with an ice tool loop with a bungee tie off. So that's right here. You can actually throw an ice pick in there if you need to use that. And then you tighten it up right here and pull. And it will tighten up and it will hold that tool for you. Now that can be used for other things other than just an ice pick. Uh, and for extra support, you can actually put the ice pick down in the pocket there or any other type of pole. If you're a photographer, that would be a perfect place to put something like a monopod. Um, so there are multi uses for that but it was designed for anyone who might be hiking in a little bit icier climates than what we have here in Tennessee and they may need that ice pick to take with them. So let's move into some things that I really like about the bag and the number one thing would probably be how comfortable the bag is. Now Osprey are experts at this. You can see here how thick the straps on the bag are. I'd say there's about half an inch of padding there uh, and they are really really comfortable on your shoulders they do rest really nicely even if you have heavier weights you can adjust this to just be a nice all-day pack that's not gonna wear you down um, that may take a little bit of adjusting with the shoulder straps as well as with the airspeed suspension here but once you get it right it is extremely comfortable 
Another thing that I really like about the bag is this cool magnetic chest strap. Now this isn't something that I've seen on my other Osprey bags that I have, uh, but basically there's a magnet built in right here, just clips on, just like that. So that's really nice. And what that also does is that's a magnet that will hold on to your water bladder. Um, the water bladder has a magnet on it as well, and so you can just have your water bladder accessible at any time. The materials on this bag are extremely high quality. Like I said earlier, this is a long-term review. I've had this bag for about a year, and there's really no fraying. There's no degradation of materials at all. This bag, outside of, as you can see, a little bit of dirt right here on the back because it is used. The bag is really amazing quality, and so I really, really like that Osprey put the time and the hard work in on that front. Another thing I like are the water bottle pockets here. They're nice and roomy. You can fit easily 32 ounce Nalgene bottles in there. Um, but not only can you put the bottles in the top, you can also insert the bottles from the front here so it's easier to access without removing the pack. Another thing I really like about the bag is the organization. Like I said earlier, this stuff pocket is really awesome. Um, you can throw jackets and, and things in there. But then you have this pocket in front. If you're an organizational type person, this is going to be a really nice bag for you because a lot of hiking bags are just one big pocket and you put everything in there and you have to go through it all. And it, it can be a little tedious, but you have this nice front pocket here on the Manta as well as you have multiple uh, stretchy organizational pockets here. Here's one, two, and then you have an internal zipper pocket right here. And as you can see, I do have a headlamp thrown in there, but this is a perfect space. Uh, this is actually where I normally throw my first aid kit. So my first aid kit, I have that right here. Uh, and I have a bunch of stuff in there, but I can just easily throw it right in there. Fits perfectly, zip it up. There's still plenty of room in those other extra pockets. Um, we also have a nice sunglass holder up here that you can put a sunglass, you can put sunglasses, uh, or you can put anything that you don't want to get scratched. It's got an anti-scratch material in there, so that's really, really nice as well. And then we have the large pocket up top here where you do throw all of your main stuff. It goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. So you have your large main pocket there that holds uh, the most of your stuff that you will be taking with you. And then behind that, you actually have a separate internal pocket right there that you can store more things in there, or it's technically made for that water bladder that comes with the bag. You can see the hanger up here as well. So there is plenty of room to store things in here, plenty of organizational pockets. Uh, you have your front pockets here on your belt that you can put things in right there. So I really do enjoy the storage options and the organizational options on this bag. I think they're really, really good. And the last thing we have to talk about on this bag is Osprey's Almighty Guarantee. Now they have become famous for this in the outdoor space. Uh, any bag that you buy from Osprey, it doesn't matter what era it is, it doesn't matter. You could have bought it in the 70s, you could have bought it yesterday. If something goes wrong with these bags, um, if they tear, if they rip, anything goes wrong with them, Osprey will replace it. Uh, no questions asked. Um, if they don't currently stock the bag that you uh, have had issues with or have damaged, uh, they will give you a monetary value of what that bag was worth when it sold. So that's really, really awesome. Osprey really goes the extra mile for their customers and really looks out for them as far as replacing bags that have any issues or get damaged. So shout out to Osprey for that. That's really, really awesome. That's why most of my bags that I buy are from Osprey because I know if anything goes wrong, no matter what it is, I can just send that bag back in and they will replace that bag. No questions asked. So there's a lot that I like about this bag, but unfortunately, there are also a few things that I don't like about this bag. Not much, just two things. Um, but number one thing is this is probably what you're going to hear online if you read reviews for this bag or if you watch videos. The number one thing is the waist strap. Um, this bag does hold up to 30 pounds. 
Uh, and it does have some nice um, kind of hip hugging uh, padding here, but the waist strap is tiny. Now when you're supposed to, when you're out hiking, you're supposed to be holding a lot of the weight on your hips. And if you look at this waist strap, it is only about an inch thick. And so if you have 30 pounds in this bag and you have an inch thick waist strap, especially somebody like myself who's a bigger person, uh, it, it can be a little bit um, less comfortable than you would like around your stomach. So I wish Osprey would have made this waist strap a little bit thicker. That's really the only design flaw that I see with this bag. I hope if they do revamp this bag that they come out with a thicker waist strap as well as maybe uh, the ability to change out these hip pads because on their larger bags you can change out the hip pads. Unfortunately on this one they are stationary. You cannot change those out. And then the only other thing, and this is kind of a nitpicky thing, um, but some of Osprey's bags come with a safety whistle. Now, like I said before, this one has a magnetic uh, clip right here on the chest strap, and I've never seen one that has the magnetic clip come with a safety whistle, but I honestly would prefer there to be a safety whistle there instead of the magnetic clip like are on some of the other Osprey bags that I own. Now, I do really like the magnet technology. I think it's really, really cool. However, I would prefer there to be a safety whistle built in here and just have the traditional uh, buckle instead of the magnet. Because a safety whistle when you're out hiking is very, very important. You want to be safe. You want people to hear you if there's any uh, injury or anything that people might need to find you. So having a safety whistle is imperative in my opinion and it's really nice if it's built into your bag. That's just another thing you don't have to remember to carry in your emergency pack. So it would have been really nice to see a safety whistle built into this bag like some of the other Osprey bags that I own. So what's the best use case scenario for this bag? I'd say this bag is best used for longer day hikes uh, or overnight hikes. It's not a bag that you're going to through hike with. It doesn't have enough space for that. However, it is a little bit larger than just your everyday day hiking bag. So I use it primarily as a winter day hiking bag or a long day hiking bag. Because if you need some extra layers, if you need a jacket, if you need some gloves, the extra space in this bag is really awesome. And it does sit really well on your back, so the extra weight is not very noticeable with the nice shoulder straps. Also, whenever I'm hiking out with my wife and the dogs, um, she doesn't necessarily like to carry a pack, so I can put her stuff in this bag as well as my stuff, as well as uh, the dog water bowls, things like that, uh, first aid, um, emergency kits, and all that fits in the bag very, very nicely. Um, another use for it would be overnights. If you're doing an overnight, maybe even up to a weekend, you can throw a jet boil in there, you can throw you know, some food, you can throw a hammock or even a small tent. I mean, it will carry enough to handle an overnight, even up to maybe a weekend long trip. So this bag is a little bit overkill if you're just going on a short uh, multi-mile hike throughout the day, but if you are going out for the whole day and you want your whole day's food, you want supplies, you want that first aid, and maybe you need a few extra layers if you're hiking up in some elevation or in the cold, that's what this bag is best for. I would say throughout the course of the year, this is probably the bag I take out the most. Um, I do have smaller and larger bags, but this is probably my most used bag. So hopefully you enjoyed all this information on the Osprey Manta 34 liter. Um, if you guys do want to look at purchasing this bag, I will have a link in the description where you can go and purchase this bag. So make sure you check that out. And guys, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more gear reviews or more hiking trail tours, please hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can always see my videos when they come out. Thank you so much, guys. As always, stay hiking and stay safe. See ya.